I've been working on some demos of the mesh tool to create gradients that are a little more complex than what you can get with the standard gradient tool. Uh, at the moment I'm playing with uh, grapes and leaves. This is not a grape leaf, but um, it's a simpler leaf than grape leaves are. If I select this, I'm not going to do the grape. It's pretty straightforward. Just show you the mesh that's on here. You can see the colors assigned at different points. If I deselect it, you can see the overall shading. I was thinking that this is a nice sort of metallic-y but very shiny grape sort of thing. Hi. I want to take a few minutes to discuss how to take an ellipse like this and turn it into a mesh gradient image like this. This is a basic ellipse with a dark green fill. The next step is to add a gradient mesh and start shaping the mesh paths like this. All right, first step be to go into Object, Create Gradient Mesh. And here you see I have it set up for six rows, two columns. If I turned highlighting on, you'd see that. That is of no use to us. We're going to go with flat shading and click OK. Now it's just a matter of shaping these lines a little bit. I don't need the mesh tool here because I already have the points I need. So I'm just going to go in and start moving points. Now to get the angles that I want here, I'm going to use the Convert Anchor Point tool. Drag out handles. Shift them up. Okay, you can see I'm on the way here. It's just a matter of going through, adjusting the rest of these, pulling these points down. until I get the, the shape that I want. Here I have a more carefully uh, contoured one where I've gone in and changed each handle. What I wanted to do now is go in and Create outlines of all these. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. Here you see what we had before, and here I am putting in additional mesh paths so that I can add shading within them. The way I'm doing that is I'm going to use the mesh tool now. I'm going to go in and just click to the left and a little below that line. Okay, so I just created that point. Now I'm going to create one just off to the right and below. So there are three horizontal lines, three vertical lines. So I move up here. I already have the three vertical. I'm going to click on this line to create the additional two paths and continue on up. If I continue that process, I end up with this. Actually, I was doing it a little bit uh, better in this one than I did in this. This one line is a little too far over for my taste. Now, how do we get the shading? If we look at this one, we see that there are these mesh points. One, shift click two, three, four, five. I'm selecting these points and making them a little bit lighter. Also going to grab this one. Now it looks like I am having a hard time grabbing this one here. Not sure what the problem is. Uh, I see that I accidentally created a second path in here. I'm going to get rid of that hold the mesh tool down, and I am going to delete one of these. So I'm going to hold the Alt key, 
start subtract that out. And I see that I got rid of the entire mesh path. A little more than I wanted to actually. So I'm going to click on this line here to create a new center line. Select, shift select, and select the brighter color. In this manner, I can go through, I can go through and select all of these points. Select, shift, select, shift, shift. Having a little trouble selecting some of these. Okay, so if I continue in this manner, I will create the shaded structure. And here you see I use I was using a little brighter color on these, but it's the same process continued. The next thing is to add the shading to each of these sections. This is very simply done by deselecting everything, selecting the color I want for that, use the mesh tool, and clicking. After I create one, I just want to make sure that I click on this line so I don't create a second vertical line. On this side, since all the horizontals are, are already there, I just have to click on one of these. And I want to do it a little to the left, left of center to indicate a little bit of light directionality. It's creating all these other points. So at that point, I want to switch to the direct selection tool and select shift select. And there's one more down here. All right, so this is the version I had before. The next step was to go and add a second highlight color. I could do that to the same one up here. It's merely a process of select the mesh tool and add another point here and select the color I want for that. I'm going to do that on this side. I'm going to do that on this side. And I automatically get these additional mesh points. So to continue that, I am going to just shift select these points. Shift select, shift select, select, select. and on down the list. Select all of these points, add the additional color. So after getting something like this, then all I did was go in and start working with the contour. After that, I used a warp tool to add some variation to it. To see how I get from here to here, I'll keep using the same same version we were just working on. First of all, see that there's this point here I can bring out and then I can change these handles to make them pop out. Now this area here is a little flat. I could try bringing this in a little more efficient way of handling this is to move this in first, then move this out, then change these handles. Or move this out move this over, 
before changing the handle. I, th I think is the way I decided was the preferred way. I zoom out you can see that this gives me the contour that I want. I did something similar down here at the bottom to extend the stem of this. If you look at this part of the leaf you see that there's this highlight. If I drag this down too, but then bring this up, I can create this sort of a shape. If I zoom out a little bit, you can see how I can extend a shaded stem. Okay, after you get the contour the way you want, then what I did here is just use the warp tool to go in and create a little random variation to shape the leaf the way I wanted to. Uh, 